Now at noon, drivers still heading up the hill even after several warnings from CHP. The traffic impacts, chain controls, and the frigid temperatures here in the valley. And not one, but two fires in under 12 hours. The family counting their blessings as firefighters continue to look into this investigation. Also ahead, trouble in the air, keeping planes grounded. The nationwide operational emergency impacting frequent Southwest flyers. Thank you so much for being with us this afternoon. I am Dina Kupfer. In our top stories, cold temperatures in the Sacramento Valley prompted a frost advisory this morning with overnight lows dipping well below freezing. That meant a lot of frozen windshields and covering up sensitive plants as well. But those cold temperatures are keeping traffic backed up in the Sierra. This weekend storm left some areas covered in six feet of snow in just 72 hours. Officials say with temperatures in the 20s, ice on the road will not be melting anytime soon. People were hit with dangerous driving conditions as they headed up the mountain for the holiday weekend. Chain controls still in place this morning, even as many were trying to get home. From San Diego, never put snow chains on, so just putting snow chains on is a pain in the butt. Now I've done it a few times the past few months and I got it down, so I'm ready to get out there and put them on again. <laughs> So, yeah, chain controls were on this morning. They've since been lifted. Caltrans is asking everyone, be alert, watch for the snow removal equipment because they are still up there trying to keep all those roads clear for now. And CBS 13's Jordan Segundo is in the Weather Center tracking some of the snow totals, and this was impressive. It continues to be impressive, Jordan. That's right. Over the past 72 hours, we saw pretty uh, impressive numbers here. Take a look at some of the uh, places that came in. Heavenly Mountain Resort, about 74 inches, same as uh, Homewood Road. Resort as well. Squaw Valley 72 inches and North Star 54 inches just in the last 72 hours. This is all once again the Sierra snowpack, which actually uh, brings us above normal. You can see the northern end of the Sierra about 125 percent above average, uh, the central area about 147 percent, and the southern. 149. So as we look at our satellite, though, again, we had a lot of snow over the weekend, but uh, right now things are relatively calm and quiet. We're not expecting any new snow for today, but we're expecting some changes, though, midweek. I'll have more on that coming up in just a bit. But, Dina, I'll send it back to you. All right, Jordan, thank you so much. Well,